Hello, welcome to an e-demo on clip retrieval actions in Victor Unified Client. A clip retrieval action is an action that is triggered from an event which causes a clip of a specified duration from a specified camera to download to a specified location. Before I begin, there's a couple of setup steps that I need to carry out. I'm just going to choose the setup tab, then system values and I'm going to navigate down to clip preferences. Once I'm in here, I need to set a remote clip saving location for the role which I'm currently signed in as. This is going to be used as a location to download those clips to. So I'm going to choose the path box next to administrator, which is what I'm signed in as currently, and I'm just going to navigate to a directory, and I'm going to choose save and close. Okay, with that done, I'm going to set up an event which is going to be triggered on motion detection from a camera which is going to cause our clip retrieval action to occur. So the first thing I need to do then is to create the event itself and that's going to be the build tab then events and new. For the purposes of this demo I'm just going to give my event a name I'm not going to configure any of the other options in there. I'm going to choose save and close and now I'm ready to create the action itself which is the clip retrieval action. As with all video actions it's going to be the build tab video actions, clip retrieval and new. OK, so I'm just going to give my clip retrieval action a name and then I can go ahead and configure the action itself. The first thing to do is specify the camera which this clip should come from and I can do that by choosing the select button and navigating to the camera. Then I need to set the duration of that clip. Let's do that from the drop down here. Then I need to set the clip saving location and I'll only get the ones listed in this drop down which I have configured in system values. So in this case we only have the location for an administrative user. Okay, with that done I need to set an expiry time and after this period of time the clip itself will be deleted. And finally I need to choose a clip folder within Victor Unified Client which this clip will save to. Okay, so with that done then I'm going to choose save and close. And now what I need to do is link everything together. So that's going to be the event to the action first of all. I'm going to choose the build tab, event schedule setup and event action pairing. I'm going to double click the events node and navigate to my event. I'm going to choose the bell icon and then I want to choose clip retrieval actions and choose my clip retrieval action. With that configured that means that when this event triggers it will cause this action to occur. With that done I'm going to save and close and the final configuration setup then is to link the event itself back to the motion alarm from the camera. To do that I'm going to choose build, event schedule setup and event schedule setup. I'm going to double click the devices node and find the camera which has the motion alarm on it. I'm going to choose the bell icon here and choose the motion detection alert and then I'm going to choose the bell icon on the motion detection box and specify to change event state actions and activate my event. So that means whenever motion occurs on the camera the event will be activated and of course in turn when the event is activated the action will occur. Okay so I'm going to save and close that and now we're ready to take a look at this in practice. So to do that I'm just going to open up the clips list so we can see it and I'm going to create some motion on my camera which is going to trigger my event and cause the clip retrieval action which you can see now in the clips list come through as a task and it's come through and you can see the green progress bar and now the clip has been retrieved if I hover over it you can see the expiry time which of course we set and you can see if I open up the specified directory in there we have our clip and we can play it. 